right, we are now live and live and direct from channel 23. Well, no, but um, it is National Video Game Day, so I thought I should make a special effort. Um, so I actually released this week's video early. It's already out. Batakoran should uh, talk about that over the course of the night. And um, I decided that I would also do a little bit of streaming. I haven't done a lot of that lately. And I'm just going to play something. I I'm just going to play some more Shining in the Darkness. It's not something I need for videos. It's just what I want to play. And it's one of my favorite of favorite video games of all time. So just seems appropriate for... The spirit of the season. So give me a few moments here while I get the word out. And I am going to apologize in advance. I feel a little bit of a head cold coming on. So my voice may not be as strong as usual over the course of the night, and I may need to sniffle and blow my nose a couple of times. I'll, I'll try to uh, be mindful of the mute button when I do so. Okay. Hey, it is my boy Static. How's it going? Always good to see ya. Even though I don't see you. Whatever. <laughs> nice to see your name in the chat box. There we go. Okay. I should probably get my maps ready. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. I was working on the Cave of Wisdom. And... Right, that's right. I need to crawl all over the place in the cave to get to where I need to be. One other thing. Thought I had everything set up, but I want to make sure OBS remote is connected. Because I found out why my video macros weren't working. Um, apparently OBS doesn't like it if you have um, the video sources in a, uh, in a, a group. So you need to make sure it's not grouped, which is stupid. Okay, so just going to take a quick look here at the map, kind of plot my course. If I drop down there, Do I save any time by doing that? Uh, 
Not by much. Okay. I'm gonna go around. And I need to make my way through that. I'd probably want to grab the dark block. But then intentionally fall down that particular hole. And then... probably get the mithril ore, but it depends on how well I'm doing at that point. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely one of the more complex maps to deal with in the game, so... Alright, how we all doing? And I pressed the X button again. Okay, looks like we're all ready to go. Oh no, slimy ooze. That looks like it's pegging a little too loud. There we go. Ooh, 4 XP. Get there. Yeah. Ah, dang it. Just clear out of the way, thanks. Okay. By the power of the orb of truth. I command you to show yourself. Ugh. Bang. All the buffing up we've done and still does 20 points of damage. sure on the path to Cave of Wisdom. Okay. Nope. I got it right. Good, good. Killer Bee. Let's see if I do this properly. I love that whip. Double check here. Okay, you do have the fire sword equipped. Excellent. Okay, Cave of Wisdom. Lizards. Yeah. 
go. Uh oh, smock. It's like a snack. on top of it all. Oh, come on. <laughs> I also did not sleep very well last night because of said oncoming head cold. So I'm feeling a little sleepy, but I want to get a couple hours of this in because I haven't touched it in a while. Now I'm actually excited to finish this for another reason other than just sure, you know, just the pleasure of gameplay. And that reason is this. Shining the Holy Ark. I only recently found out that that game is a first-person dungeon crawler like this. Only fully 3D. So I went out and picked it up. It is now my most expensive game. <laughs> but I played it a little bit just to kind of get a feel for it and to make sure the disc was okay, although it was freaking pristine. Um, and it was fun. I, I enjoyed what I played of it. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but... Okay. Oh, sure. Um, but I think I'm going to enjoy it. I could play it directly off of my Saturn, but I do think that... Just given how long it took me to get through the first dungeon, that I kind of want to be able to use save states on an emulator. And Saturn emulator, Saturn emulation has come a long way, so I don't think we're going to uh, have to worry about the quality of the gameplay. Man, Tess has just taken a beating. What's your maximum hit points, Tess? 193? Okay, let's give you another heal, too. And Pyra, you give Milo a heal one. There we go. Now we should be fine. Okay, now I remember where I am. <laughs> Took me just a few seconds. There, thread the needle here. Boom. Hey, I was thinking of doing that. Except not level one. Oh, and of course, my spellcasters just got blocked, so never mind. Good, we at least got one of them down. Yes, they were already blocked. Do 
do do do do do do Tarantia. Greetings to all you lurkers there. Lurker bots. I would absolutely love it if you actually contributed to the uh, conversation, but I'm a realist. I just wish I could ban them instead. But no matter how much I try, they don't stay banned. Okay, um, Tess and Pyra on the War Lizards. Milo could probably mop up that Tarantia on his own. There we go. One War Lizard left. I'm also kind of debating whether to pick up one of those polymega things when they come out. So I would be all over being able to tidy up my uh, console collection a little bit. If I knew for a fact that it was going to support um, retro achievements, I'd pre-order. Okay. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. Whoa. What did that do? Okay. I think I know where I am. I, I'm just going to run just to see if I'm right. Yeah, okay. Glad I caught that. Ooh, this will be fun. Alright, do a level 4 blast. And Pyra, you just do your normal thing. Dang. That sucked. Okay, well, we got two on the first round. Well, three, because Tess hasn't attacked yet, and he usually one-shots whatever he hits. Pyro will probably take out these last two on her own. Nope, oh, there we go. Cool. But yeah, especially since the Polymega base unit takes CDs, um, I'd be interested in that, because I don't... Oh, hello, Crusher. Eh. Um... Yeah, slow you. Um, I have to check to see if it does PS2 emulation. Because if it does, that would be another point in its column. It would also be nice to have, you know, Saturn, um, which it does now have. Uh, Sega CD would be kind of neat to start collecting those. Oh no, you know what? Tess can handle another attack. Let's just try to get rid of this thing as quickly as possible now. There we go. I might even, like, yeah, sell a few things. Like, I'd probably be fine with ditching my turbo graphics at that point. 
um, and my uh, retro trio. I don't think I'd sell my Saturn though. Uh, that one's too much fun to have around. I'd just, you know, put in storage or something. <laughs> Let's focus on those Night Wraith. Zap. Oh, jeez, Tess. 160. Man, Tess could kill himself with a critical. That's hilarious. If you're watching the VOD of this, I apologize ahead of time. Some of the stuff that I've talked about, I will probably talk about again if more people show up. It's just how things go. Okay. Am I already that far down? I guess so. Fair enough. Alright, Milo. Let's do that healing anyway. something really quick here. Man, it is so wild to see, you know, I'm, I'm streaming and recording and all of that, and the uh, processor in my streaming laptop is only 62C. Um, it used to overheat in Windows with nothing else running. Um, and then I found out where dirt ooh, boost. Where dirt tends to hide in the uh, exhaust fan. And I was able to clean it out and now we're good. Taking a look at something on Discord there. Okay, you take out the Night Wraith, you heal yourself. You go ahead and pester those sorcerers. There we go. I was hoping that would happen. I feel like we're doing better with available magic points this time. Um, okay. Well... 
right around the corner from the uh, big bad last bunch of pits before where I need to drop in, so that's good. runners. Um, yeah. Actually, yeah. Milo, you go ahead and blast them. Those last two aren't going to survive the next round. Might not even survive Pyra. There we go. Excellent. Good job. You know what? No. Pyra, heal yourself. Should have had Tess and Milo focus on the uh, clouds or smokes. There we go. All right, Milo. at this point, Milo. We're going to need it. <coughs> I think at about the one hour mark, I'm going to go uh, get some decongestant so it has a chance to work before I go to bed. See, I tend to very rarely get sick. When I do, it tends to be a head cold. And if I let it go for too long, my ear plugs up and I get an infection. So, what I've learned to do is, if I start to feel it coming on, I start attacking it ahead of time. With that tactic, I have, it's been a couple of years since I've had a full-on ear infection, so. Still get the head cold, but. Ear infections are just awful. I've, ha I've had them off and on all my life. Uh-oh. Oh, this is looking bad. Shoot. Tess is dead. Thanks. Didn't really have to rub that in. Okay. Milo, heal yourself. Pyra, 
you're probably going to be... Like, I think if I just wait and he and resurrect Tess after this fight, it's probably going to be better off. Because then I can use Smelling Salts. And we're doing okay. If I have Smelling Salts. Okay. Anyone got some smelling salts? Pyra does. But nothing happens. Okay. I didn't realize those had a potential for failure. That's stupid. <clears throat> well, 15 MP it is. Um, actually, hold on. I noticed... Is that a deep poison? Yep, that's an herb. Let's go ahead and use that on Taz. I'm going to use Milo's heals for emergencies now. Okay. Okay. Step in. Go around. I should be able to take these just fine. long as none of them crit. There we go. Okay, around the edge. Through here. We take a right. Is this all we're going to run into in this maze? Oh, crap. Why is Tess taking more damage than Pyra? dead at the end of this round. There we go. Okay, let me take a look at this here. Tess, defense of 30? Defense of 62? Um, is it because of that mangosh? Jeez. If that's the case, I may need to change my strategy there. Ugh. Okay. Well, that's good to know, even if it sucks. I think that may have been most of my problem so far. 
This test just keeps getting damaged like crazy, and the only reason for it is because he's got crap defense. In here, go around and to the right. I can go up to the wall around here. Go down to the second right. Ah, oh, jeez. Kind of feels like these guys have a higher chance to critical hit than most mobs, too. Oh, yay, Tess went up a level. One defense point. No. There we go. Intersection. Okay, good. At least he didn't blow freeze at us. Fur robe. Cool. And Milo leveled up. Good. Everybody's leveled up since we've gotten in here tonight. Ooh, level 3 heal. Cool. Okay. Um, intersection. Go this way. To the next one. And they had to be in three separate groups, too. A-holes. Thank you, Milo. Okay, I need to see... all HP to one ally. Dang, I was hoping it restored to all. <sighs> Let's just get this over with. Oh, this isn't going to be over with. Spell failed. Good. Good. Now it should be over with. 
Okay. Ay. Nope, that's gonna take forever. Milo. she's out of the yellow I'm still gonna give her one more heal here there we go get everybody close to a hundred hit points all right almost there this area because it's forcing such a circuitous route it's just giving me more opportunity to get attacked I think I'm gonna hold off on fetching the dark block for now. Let's just go down here and to the corner. Up, over. Focus all attacks on the smoke. Oh, come on. Good. Okay, Milo. Give Tess more ma uh, hit points to waste. Okay. Go to the intersection, down and around. Night Wraith. Fantastic. I may have to start running soon. Stay alive. Because after that, um, smelling salts failed. You're the only one that can revive people. Which, now I'm remembering that's why I had the smelling salts in the first place, so I probably shouldn't have tried to use it earlier. Oh, come on. Thank you, Pyra. You're on point. Okay, almost there. Come on. 
Come on, RNG. Not looking forward to this. Don't like new characters. Or new enemies, I mean. Well, that wasn't too bad. Can't you just flex your muscle? Oh, jeez. Thank you, Pyra. Excellent. Okay, that wasn't too bad. This might make it after all. Okay. Really? Just... <laughs> okay, I want to take a left after this. And not go straight through. This way is the shortest path. Oh, crap. And I said that with a K. Ah! Thank you. Oh, Milo is tapped out. Pyra is running pretty low. But we're almost there. Screw off. I said screw off. Ugh. Screw off? Nope. You do those robe tightenings. going to bother healing quite yet. Come on. Yes! Woo! You have done well, Tess. You have passed the trial of wisdom. If it is wisdom you seek, then step forward. Yay! Trial passed. Wisdom! You know what? Screw this. Well, no. Let's walk back. Like the badasses we are. Get to level two now.
to look at something else here. see now. No problem. In fact, I just passed it. Sup, Grimwall. You are in my way. You What is going on here? <laughs> there we go. Why was that so hard? <laughs> Nothing that's left should pose any sort of threat, so... <laughs> you got to say. Oop, someone's missing. His Majesty has been waiting for you. I've been waiting for you. How goes everything? By the heavens, you've really passed the trials of the ancients. Dear Tristan, I knew you I was right in trusting your judgment. You're too kind, Majesty. Now more than ever, it is up to you to return me my daughter. Yep. Yep, the arms of light that I w must never, ever, 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 ever get rid of. Yay, the traitor is open. Okay. Good, good. So I can get repairs. I can get new items built, but I don't have any mithril. Now, yeah, what you got? Ooh. Fun new armor. Okay. I'm going to come back here. What I want to do first... Tavern's closed. That's what they look like? Oh, they're their parents. Okay. What? <laughs> oh, I could be such an ass. <laughs> I 
Got a nice amount of cash handy. 21,000? I'll be able to get some good equipment. Alright, now we're all healed up. Actually, let's go to the Alchemist and buy new smelling salts. What kind of deals do you have? Ah, Mithril Ore. I'm going to hold off on the Mithril until after I've built, you know, purchased everything else. Okay, going here. Yep, continue. Save. And perfect timing. All right. I am going to go off camera for just a few moments. I'm going to uh, take a decongestant and uh, I'll be back in a few moments.